Hi everybody! For today's exercise, we are going back to our wood example. We are going to use the techniques we have learned to add some highlighting, shading, and some details. I recommend you try this exercise yourself before looking at the solution. But before you start, one, I'm going to give you one hint. Use the airbrush. It's great for tidying up the shading and the highlighting. So pause the video now, because I'm about to start with the solution. The first thing I do is use a color selector to select the wooden square. Remember that I can add and remove the, to the selector. Next, I add another layer and name it Details. We've already drawn some details on the layer below. Uh, ideally, we should have drawn these lines on a new layer, but for now, let's just continue moving. On the Details layer, I'm going to start by drawing some rounded corners. We can also flesh out these lines a little bit trying to make the width of the lines a little bit variable. Next, we add a shading and highlighting layer. Let's use a bristles brush to add some shading in the top right corner of each plank. We don't want the effect to be too obvious, so remember to push down lightly to ensure that the strokes remain transparent. Remember to use Ctrl Z quite a lot when you're not satisfied with a stroke. But don't be too perfectionist and don't pay too much attention to the details. The general effect is more important than the individual pixels. And let's add some highlighting in the bottom left corner. I zoom out often to get a rough idea of the general effect. When we're more or less done, we can smoothen out the shading and highlighting with the airbrush. Use a color picker to pick a color straight from the canvas. This method is known as blending, and it's very widespread in digital painting. We don't want to lose too much of the underlying wood grain texture, so keep the opacity low by brushing, pushing down lightly. You can also decrease the opacity of the airbrush. After that, let's go back to the details layer and fix up these lines. I'm going to draw some small cracks in the planks by drawing squiggly lines like these. And I'm going to add a small highlight to each of these cracks. It's easiest to do this on a layer below the cracks.
And there we have it. Good job, you have reached level 4 in the roadmap. Thanks for watching. In the next and final lesson, I will be giving some general tips on how to keep practicing and keep improving. Bye for now.